being strategic can really help increase the odds that you will reduce your low back pain. The five steps that I follow with clients are number one, setting an end goal, something that's achievable, but probably gonna take a long time to achieve. For example, being able to run a marathon. I then try to find out exactly where your point A is. What's your baseline? What are you functionally able to do? What is actually causing your back pain? And is it something that we should be worried or concerned about? Then I'd look at the different roads and different options and different ways that you can get to your point A. Be that psychological interventions, practical or hands-on physical. Then break that path that you have chosen down into segments. Find out what your point B is and your point C. Once this is done, it really helps people when they have a particular time on that roadmap, on that path where things are reassessed, where progress is praised and accountability is set for the next step up the ladder.